From above, Jurassic Germany is an island paradise. But below the surface, it is anything but. As the Jurassic period nears its end, the world is changing considerably. Due to the continents beginning to split apart, a phenomenon occurring worldwide is the advancement of the sea inland. Tectonics are pushing up global sea levels and many lowland habitats have been destroyed by flooding, forcing plants and animals to adapt to dramatically different conditions. Being composed mostly of lower land, Europe has become an enormous archipelago, a vast island chain created by the rising Tethys Sea. This ancient seaway is situated between the northern landmass of Laurasia and the southern supercontinent of Gondwana. This new, inundated world has massively segregated terrestrial life. Huge quantities of water and reefs separate each piece of land, making food and other resources highly sought after. One such inhabitant of these islands is the small dinosaur Compsognathus. At only a metre in length and barely standing one foot tall, this carnivore is one of the smallest dinosaurs ever known. This female is in the middle of her morning hunt. Up above, tall cycads and ginkgo trees form a dense canopy with various species of shrubs and ferns forming an equally dense understory below. The plants here can grow so densely as there are no large herbivores on the islands to feed on them. This also means there are no large carnivores. As such, despite their small size, Compsognathus are in fact the top land predators of these islands. In a sunlit opening in the trees, a dragonfly rests on a fallen tree trunk just 10 meters away. Her keen eyesight allows her to acutely lock in on the position of the insect. This is made possible by the visual field of each eye overlapping in the center, granting her binocular vision and depth perception. Being able to lock onto the insect's position means she can plan her attack. Compsognathus are incredibly fleet-footed, able to achieve incredible bursts of speed within seconds but the smallest draft of wind disturbs the insect and it prepares for takeoff. The dinosaur seizes her chance. Catching the small breeze gives the insect the tiniest head start on the reptile. Compsognathus may be top predator on the ground, but in the air, it is a different story. Anurignathus, a very bizarre pterosaur, and devilishly effective at catching insects on the wing. Within the pterosaur's jaws, the dragonfly's elongate body is pierced by his sharp teeth. They make short work of the insect's tough exoskeleton. Anurignathus has specifically evolved to hunt flying insects, exhibiting unique adaptations to this lifestyle, such as his short wings and tail. Both grant the reptile greater maneuverability amongst the dense shrubbery and his large eyes allow greater visibility when trying to pinpoint fast-moving prey. Insects are one of the few sources of food for reptiles on the island, and where food can be found, fierce competition follows. Anurignathus is just one of the many species of pterosaurs in Jurassic Germany, all of which have been forced to adapt to different feeding methods and niches. Robbed of an easy meal, the little dinosaur moves on.